A Brighton hairdresser who deliberately infected sexual partners with HIV has lost an appeal against his conviction and prison sentence. Darrell Rowe was jailed for 12 years in April after passing on the virus to five men through unprotected sex and attempting to infect another five. Well, he sent the men mocking text messages after sex, telling them he'd exposed them to HIV. Tonight, one of his victims said Roe was guilty of a vile series of crimes and welcomed the decision to throw out his appeal. Leanne Lawless reports. Um, do you have HIV? No. This is Daryl Rowe telling police he did not have HIV, which is exactly what he told his victims before he had sex with them but he had been diagnosed with the virus and was aware of the risk of transmitting it when he set out on a deliberate campaign to infect other men, even ripping off the top of condoms when they insisted on having protected sex. Tries. Today in the Court of Appeal, his defence team argued that his conviction should be overturned and his sentence reduced because there was insufficient evidence to prove he intended to harm his victims victims who he taunted with messages. The nasty texts to only a few of the complainants and the damaged condoms in our submission were not sufficient to prove intention. It emerged during his trial that he had met his victims on the gay dating app Grinder and sent text messages mocking them, saying, you may have the fever because I have HIV. He told one, I'm riddled, by the way. Today, as the High Court ruled Darrell Rowe's conviction and sentence should not be overturned, there was relief from one of his victims, who cannot be identified for legal reasons. Well, I'm actually really pleased he's lost his challenge. I don't believe that anyone who has done or or who is capable of doing such a vile crime or, or, or series of crimes as he's done should actually be allowed to appeal in the first place. We are satisfied the grounds of appeal are unarguable. Uh, the trial uh, was a thorough uh, review of the evidence and the issues. Daryl Rowe watched proceedings via video link from court today and just nodded his head when asked if he understood the ruling, as he now continues to serve his life sentence with a minimum term of 12 years in prison. Well, Leanne's at the Court of Appeal for us now. And Leanne, you heard arguments there today about whether transmitting HIV to another person amounts to grievous bodily harm. Yes, the defence argued today that Daryl Rowe having multiple casual sexual partners while he had HIV was not the same as, for example, him stabbing somebody or holding a gun with his hand on the trigger. They said he didn't have control over his actions or over this virus, a virus which they argue today is no longer life-threatening and can be treated. But the judges today said that those arguments were surprising, considering the serious consequences of HIV if it's not treated. They said the jury convicted a very powerful case and they said the trial judge was right to describe Roe as very dangerous, considering he tried to infect not just one, but ten different men, causing them serious physical and psychological harm. Leanne, thank you.